Quarterback meetings with Eric Ainge on SportsRadioWNML.com are brought to you locally by LCUB Amerigas Heritage Propane and Safety Systems. Call 1-844-OUR-LCUB, that's 844-687-5282, to register for LCUB's Automated Response Center. Have your LCUB account number ready and take a minute so you're always up to date with any emergency outage services. Also brought to you by Amerigas Heritage Propane, Amerigas.com, HeritagePropane.com. Go online after the video and find the nearest propane grill cylinder refill location. Whether it's propane for your house, business, a grill tank exchange, or converting to propane, think Amerigas for all your residential and commercial needs. Lastly, quarterback meetings with Eric Ainge are brought to you by Safety Systems. When it comes to your home, no one provides better security in audio-video systems than Safety Systems. Control everything with a tablet or a smartphone, whether it's a hidden TV or the temperature in your home, even locking and unlocking doors or shutting the garage door. Safety Systems provides true security and peace of mind. Trust Safety Systems, East Tennessee's leader in security and audio-video systems. SafetySystems.com. Now, let's check the tape. In this edition of Quarterback Meetings with Eric Ainge, we're going to look at when to take the alerts backside into the boundary. You can see the quarterback right here, balls on the hash. Even though we have a tight end right here, we still have, this is Robert Meacham down here, into the boundary. When do we take these slants and these quick outs and these hitch routes right here? And we have an example of each of them as you start to go through this. It's really important. It almost becomes like an extension of the running game. It's a great first and 10 call. If you know how to audible quick game, and get this ball thrown out here to the boundary receiver, there's a lot of completions to be had. You know, anymore, and this was a great point by, by Vince when we were prepping to do all this, now quarterbacks are always back here in the shotgun, and you'll see why that doesn't work if you want to throw this boundary slant right here when it's not man-to-man. -man. So as we'll, we'll go through it till we get to the backside, good catch by Meacham, that takes about nine guys to tackle him. Chris and Swain start wanting to fight people. That's good old school Tennessee football right there. As you look at it, okay, pause. Right here, this backer, all he has to do is flare out just enough, and that's his responsibility right here, and he'll get in the way of that slant. So when I take the snap, I was very well coached by Cutcliffe. I know exactly where he has to go. So if you watch, right, watch my eyes right when it gets snapped, I hold him just enough to get the ball thrown in the into the slant down here into the boundary. If you're in the shotgun, you got to take your eyes off the off him. You got to catch the ball and then throw it as fast as you can just to be on time. And then you can't work this backside as much because this guy can't be held. So watch right when the ball snapped. Watch one, two, three, boom, and you get him in there. That little bit. That's all it takes. And it's still not like a really simple completion. The guy still eyes snap ball. And then you can get that ball out. If you're in the shotgun anymore, that's a great point by Vince. If you're in the shotgun, those kind of things become even harder. So when we look at the next one here, as we go through it, still all Air Force right here. When do we throw down here into the boundary? That's what this is about. When do we work the boundary? A, a better player right here, I probably would stop. See how he's outflanked right here? This is Robert Meacham, and this guy that's guarding him is about four by two outside, and we're running a quick out right here. The coaching point for Meacham would be to attack his right here on his outside shoulder and then break, but this guy's just not, again, beat at birth right here with this guy trying to guard him into the boundary, but I know I have one-on-one -on -one coverage regardless. That's what it's all about. When do I have one-on-one -on -one coverage? When can I get the ball into this boundary wide receiver? So you run the, you run the motion right there, and you still have this one-on-one. -on -one. See, the ball's already coming out, and he hasn't even fully made his break yet, and you can have a touchdown right there. Just down on the few yard, you know, on the two, three, four, five yard line, you can go, if you're under center, especially right here, and work a matchup backside against one-on-one -on -one coverage. When you go through and you look at the next play, the next one's against Cal. Cal plays, and used to play, again, I'm getting old, but they used to play tr like a true rover, three deep defense. So they would have four down, two front. So right here, a four down, this is Cal 2006, right here. One, two, three, four defensive linemen, two linebackers. And then they have this rover down here and this Sam linebacker out here. They can be different kinds of personnel, but you can see the coverage right here, just three deep coverage. And we don't have him blocked. This rover becomes a problem when you're looking at blocking schemes and what do we do? See, we have a true fullback in the game here still, which is just awesome to have a fullback. But I know I can work this boundary. Again, look, one-on-one. -on -one. If you know you got one-on-one -on -one down here, even if he's a little tighter, I can still work it because the hitch route turns to a fade route. 
So as soon as I see this pressure coming right here, I know I'm working into the boundary. So as soon as that happens, I'm working in the back. Good play by the linebacker, by the way, trying to buzz the flat. But if you get it out on time, he can't get there. See right there, that doesn't look good, but he misses, he misses, and then we'll fast forward through this because he's gone off to the races to go score a touchdown. We'll look at it from the back end zone angle right here. You want to throw quick game into the boundary. Know when you're one-on-one -on -one over here. Know when, you're, when you can attack him on the quick out, on the quick slant. You can see what would happen if we had a slant on right here. Boom. See that? That's a problem. I'd have to wait for him to get to the second hole if you want to throw that slant route. So coverage, how they buzz the flats. You'll notice that's a common theme in anything we do. How do they cover the flats? And how do they cover this boundary wide receiver? And you can get a completion to a big guy in the boundary. Last year, that would have been Josh Malone. This year, that'll probably be Jawan Jennings. Can Dormady and can Garantano understand when they're one-on-one -on -one backside and go and attack that with signals, slants, hitches, quick outs, the most basic of the quick game into the boundary. And again, off to the races. You never know when a five-yard completion turns into an 80-yard touchdown. You have to take those opportunities as often as possible. That's this edition of Quarterback Meetings with Eric Gange.